Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. If I remember right, we desperately needed weapons, and we might be on the verge of a Zoltan Shield to fill our last slot here. I'm gonna jump here, just because there's more chances of there being stores here. Once we hit here, man. Oh wait, this is just a civilian sector, that's why this is stopping so much. I was like, what the hell kind of nebula is this? It's only like half nebula. Actually, I think that's less than half, but we need we need a store for fuel as well. This drone isn't looking for you. Perhaps it's scouting ahead for the rebel expansion. Or maybe they're just seeking to use this nebula for cover. Not the weapons. Well, I mean, I guess it wasn't the weapons, but that's... Ooh. We need to hack their shields and hit their hacking quick. What?! Don't explode! That thing fires so fast, if it comes in at that angle, it's gonna get... Mm. Cloaking. Thank you for coming in at a more agreeable angle. We're gonna turn this on, even though we're down to six, but I need to get this stuff wrecked, like yesterday. They're not in any, like, real threat of taking us out unless this hacking ruins us. I guess this actually stacks up, but we should be able to cloak if it gets too bad. And we do have the potential for triple shields. Yeah, I think we're gonna- oh wait, it took damage. I don't want to use another drone part to also activate the defense drone and switch between them. I think that'd be too much. At least we didn't lose a layer of shields since we weren't using that one anyway. Drain them. We'll cloak whenever they drain our shields. Great! That went down. We'll shoot the shields. Well, I mean, we tried. This beam drone! See, this is one of the reasons that I really like beam weapons. Because beam weapons can't miss! Cloaked! For just long enough to get our shields back. We're probably just gonna keep waiting for the cloaking. Or the, the hacking. Cloaking is also nice. We hit sometimes, but the evasion of these ships has got to be like around the 45% mark with how often we end up missing. Nope. No firing. I don't know if it was about to fire, but you never know. Wow, we actually got a shot through. Man, would I ever love Zoltan shields, especially when they're free and we get other stuff with them. I don't know if those are guaranteed, but if they are... The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. Please give me Zoltan shields. You arrive at the location, specified by the peace-loving Zoltan, and you attempt to hail them. Uh, surrender, rebellions causing millions of deaths, perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideals without war. True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Suddenly, all indications of the rebel ship fade away, and a Zoltan fleet appears around your ship. The captain of the ship you met previously materializes on your bridge. Although your methods are crude and most certainly ineffective, it is clear you took our previous meeting to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what we can to aid in their fight. This technology should aid your quest. Yay! Oh, that's gonna do so much for us. Why don't we always go to green sectors? The Zoltans are awesome. You discover a nearby planet, speckled with settlements, although none respond to your hills. I think I'm usually afraid of the enemies here having super shields. I mean, this is just a civilian sector, but I mean green ones in general. Hey, we found a store too. Everything's great, life's awesome. Burst laser one. Two power for two shots every 11 seconds. This is one power for one or for two shots every 10 seconds. It is better in every way, as far as I can tell. I don't know if there's a chance for fire, though. And we've got all our systems. Spawn bomb's not going to help. See, Heavy Laser Mark II is great. 
because it does four damage instead of two. And there's also a chance for breach and stun, but I'm looking for quantity of shots to bring down shields. Otherwise, I can only attack whenever the hacking's good. But I guess if the hacking's good, and I... Hmm. Maybe this would be better. I'm thinking it would be. I just need to be able to crank out more damage. Because if even one of these hits, that's enough to take down a full layer of shields instead of needing to hit it twice. I shouldn't sell the dual lasers, though, because of how insanely efficient they are. They're way better than the burst laser one. Four power, I could have both, and that would be four shots. It's kind of expensive for four shots, but it is potentially six damage. I don't really have anything I want to sell. We're going to get this, and I'm going to buy their fuel. I wish they had more fuel. We're back in the green. Oh my god, shield overcharger. I don't know if that would stack into itself. That would be kind of funny. If this could just, like, the, the green, more green starts showing up as this comes by. A way to recharge this would be nice. But. Hmm. Now, see, the Rebel flagship shoots too fast. There's, like, it has four weapons. And each of them shoot three times, except for the laser, I guess. That would get knocked out immediately. I'm not too concerned with the burst laser, and stun bomb wouldn't really help us. Ion intruder might be neat. I feel like they would just destroy them too quickly, though. Anyway, we need to go to our ship. Upgrade our weapons twice. And we need more power. Because we need triple shields. I guess less so now that we have the super awesome Zoltan shields. And we need to put this over here. Take the power out of that. Put the power into this. How fast does this fire? 13 seconds. It's a 3 second loss. But this one can only cause fires. And I love breaches. And it's more... It's, it's, it's better shots. Actually. That's one extra ship. Can I put another point into this? Yeah. We'll have them both. And if anything goes down, it'll be the dual lasers. So that the more expensive, better weapon will be up. Four shots is exactly what we needed. We can cement our defenses a little bit more. Even more so with this Zoltan shield. Oh, there was another store there. Oops. Who knows what else we could have got there. It appears that an automated Rebel Scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. It's powering up its FTL, it's gonna tell on you. Um... Hmm. I mean, it would also be good to level up our cloaking and stuff so that they can't charge their weapons. It's a pity we couldn't get stealth weapons, but I don't know that we really need that. I... I mean, they don't have shields. And they can't mind control us because we have Zoltan shields. Awesome. I'm going to have this focus on their cockpit. Because if it breaches it, it will never be repaired. And this will fire on their weapons. We can actually, because they don't have shields as well, we can actually win without using any drone parts. And that's something we really, really need to start doing. Yay, two damage. Ion... Ion, you need to stay away from my super shields. Yes! It breached. Flawless victory. They didn't even get through our... Give me the Zoltan achievement on the Angie ship. The ship breaks apart. You feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. I mean, we have Zoltan shields. How could we not be? Scans show a remote, a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. You quickly attack them. I see you have missiles. Meet Zoltan shield. I don't have to immediately jump onto the other things. I'm going to hack your shields. That's where my drone part will go. And I'm going to hack them now. And then I'm actually going to dodge this so that you don't get the ion damage on my Zoltan shields. And then we're going to shoot everything we got at your shields. Yes, breach. Lots of damage and breach their time it's being wasted and they still have yet to hit our yes this is good this is very good do more damage Burko gave up Burko's just trying to run we'll shoot here next I actually really like this heavy laser 
They look like they don't want to fight. We just did four damage to that with one weapon. That's pretty solid. Dead. Dual lasers, but where? Yeah, that's fine. Piracy cannot be forgiven. Bloop. They actually almost got away. You pick through the remains and contact the settlement. With the pirates gone, you signal the station. We appreciate what you've done, but there'll just be more. That's a very depressing way of thinking about it. This is a victory for you guys. Nearby planet has weapons. Flak 1, eh. Fire bombs, I love. Not good for this setup. Pegasus missiles, eh. Defense scrambler we started with. Explosive replicator, I do love, but we're not using missile weapons. We have good systems. We can't get any more crew because we actually maxed it out already. We're gonna buy the fuel. And let's heal up a little bit, just in case, so that we stay in the green if we take a little bit of damage, too. I want to leave this so that if we find a repair option, we actually get benefit from it. Nothing else we need here? You know what? I should buy drone parts. They're really expensive, but we're kind of drone heavy. I mean, I would like to start winning with just the heavy laser, too, and the dual lasers so that we can stockpile up some for when we need it, but... Demand the surrender of their goods. They look like they don't want to fight. Especially with triple shields, we definitely need to hack them. So let's start that now. We are actually... Shoot this here, shoot that there, because they're... I don't think they're going to have triple power in the cockpit, so more damage can be done to the engines. Yes, broken completely and a breach. Fire, and we did damage to the system. It actually was a triple-powered cockpit. Huh. We need to wait for this to come back up regardless. With triple shields, even if we attack the shields, they would get too much... They would get too far ahead of us. Their FTL should be, like, stopping to improve at the moment. Improve. I mean, build up. But I don't want them to get away, so this is exactly where we gotta hit them. I'm going to heavy laser. Hmm. We'll hear again in, in hopes that we breach, and maybe even kill Sam. Let's just do the same. And we'll cloak this just in case. Sam died. Fires rage. Cockpits destroyed. They are not charging anything. Fire and breach. That's really cool. Wow, so the fire takes priority over fixing the breach. We have science things on this day. You're uh, not going to get out of this. Boop. The debris implies that the ship was carrying drone schematics, but unfortunately nothing remains. You do find functioning drone parts, however. Why is there an S here? You see, I see an S here, but I don't see an S here. I see a 1. Whatever. Down and then up? We could do that. Another power, in case we need a defense drone, would be nice. We need to start putting more power into this, too. I would like to have multiple of these available. Nothing of interest, just some kind of mining thing. Oh. I mean, I already have a defense drone, too, but we can hold on to it. When you ask a nearby station for aid, a friendly programmer gives you the schematic for a drone. Why, thank you. So we had to make it out of our own scrap or something? That's a schematic for a drone, not the drone itself. I wonder how that works. You arrived at the long-range beacon. Hmm. You have jumped into the aftermath of what seems to have been a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens, and you can still see the remains of the dying ships sparking and breaking apart. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation, and you used your improved sensors to scan the wreckage further. You scan the battlefield, and with the aid of your sensors, you are able to salvage a moderate amount of material from the wreckage. You prepare to jump. Oh boy, more missiles. Thank you for the fuel, though. Mantis control. We could get quad shields now. Quad shields would be nice. Then we would have ultimate shields, because that's all four levels and then that. I guess also having the Zoltan thing would be... <laughs> You've entered a poorly chartered area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. 
We can go to that store too. It's always good to check out the stores. After we hit distress. You find the source of the distress call. A small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. We don't have a rock man. I have a clone bay. It's not like they're gonna get diseased. You send your crew into the station. Unfortunately, as soon as they enter, the fire breaches the station's fuel cell containment. You quickly try to dock and retrieve your crew, but not before an unfortunate soul is lost in the inferno. With a newfound respect for flames, your crew member's clone stumbles out of the clone bay. Aha! No losses. Yeah, they'll recoup that. It was worth the try, still. I think we're actually going to lose a jump out of this because this one doesn't go to many other places. Ah, uh, pike beam I like, small bell I like, fireball I like. Nah, not really. I'll pick, ooh, a second defense drone mark too. I was saying how I always wanted to try and have two of those running at once. Wow. That's like totally turtle defense. With the Zoltan super shield and maxed out shields we're eventually going to get with good evasion, cloaking, and two defense drones ranked two. Is that like the best setup for not taking damage? I want to buy this. I really want to buy this. That's probably needlessly overboard, but at the same time, I, I, I enjoy it. So we're going to buy all their fuel. And a couple drone parts. And we're good on the fixing. And this is the second to last sector, and especially in the last sector. What I've been trying to do lately, especially on my own little runs in between these, because... I have to wait for your guys' vote before I make the next run, so I usually do some, like, runs with whatever ships I liked before, is to try and make as many jumps as I can before getting to the base, before they're taken over in the last sector, because I get you lots of extra scrap, because every fight there gives you, like, 70 to 80 scrap, and with the scrap recovery arms and stuff, you can get even more. They only want two fuel. I can give you that. Sector scans. Well, at least we only gave them two. If I gave them four and only got sector scans, that would be kind of crap. Lots of possible ships detected. A youthful looking mantis, Captain Hales. You, pray, must know your death. Kazthwak's final kill before maturity. Kazthwak pays respects. Seems respects in mantis culture are paid with lasers. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to do the same. So I'm going to shoot this over here, preventing you from really boarding me because you can't get out of that room now. And... You fired, I cloaked. I realize we have these super shields, but I would like to keep these for as long as possible. That's why they didn't board us. It's because they can't. Oh, how delightful. I didn't even think about that. Wow, if they didn't have a clone bay, they just got wrecked. All of their weapons destroyed. Six points of damage. I mean, one might have missed, but I wasn't really paying that close of attention, but still, lots of damage went out. And there's fires raging that they're going to have to fix, and the doors are a problem. Oh. Well, damn their convenient placement of the clone bay. Ooh, the fire spread into there. You better believe I'm shooting in here. Yes! And it breached. And they're not even going to fix that now. With the shields broken, we can take out the clone bay. Or not. I mean, we didn't really need to. We got them anyway. You get 56. Uh, close to a sun. Asteroid field. Down and into the asteroid field then. We are in scra scrap collection mode. A mantis ship with the markings of a warrior tribe breaks position and attacks. We must again hack over here. They can't, they can't board us. Have you guys noticed, like, the lack of missile weapons that the enemies have had? And boarding, even before this? Like, this has been such a lucky run. Uh, I'm gonna drain these now. Ah, uh, my stuff. Cloaking. And we're gonna shoot in here. Your shields are pretty toasted. Actually, with six points of damage, maybe we should always... That could take out triple shields down to nothing if they all hit. I see, so that's where your priorities are. You boarded us. I'm gonna shoot over there now. You can't get your crew members back if they die now, so I'm gonna send my mantis in here to also kill you. 
Hmm, my hacking isn't problems. That doesn't really matter, though, because their shields are already gone. I Actually, you know what? Let's just let him teleport back. He's gonna teleport back. Never mind, he just died. We'll kill them. I, I looked at the health of their ship, and I'm like, you know, it's actually not important. We got 52. And we close that up. Everybody goes back to their positions. We have a clone bay, even if the captain did die. But it would have been bad to lose the experience. And our close by Yangi, who is already back to being gold. Or... No, actually, they aren't. Because that would be gold instead of... <laughs> close enough! Yay, Yangis! We are going to get quad shields. And the power to use them. So... We're pretty fully defended. I need more points in the drone system. If we could get another laser weapon too, that would be cool. But I don't know that that's going to happen because there isn't always a store we can get to in the final sector. You arrive in an asteroid belt to discover a rebel automated scout has been stationed here. Prepare for a fight. Two shots and a halberd beam. Ah, Mother Nature, you betray me here. I love this green shield. We're going to fire both of these at the same time. Oh, they can hack us now. Let's stop their hacking. Yeah, that's right. You just float off in space. It's gonna take them a little bit to fix that. So... Shoot this first and then shoot this. Just so that it's more likely that the dual lasers is what hits the shields. And then the heavy lasers hits the actual, actual shields. Is what I mean. Heavy lasers over there, dual lasers over there. Heavy lasers are cool. See, it's nice because the the one cost one is really efficient, and then this one's just... It's two of them. It's awesome. The ship explodes, even behind 56 scrap. And there's still a bit we can do here. A mantis female comes on the vid screen. The females don't make it to authority unless they're particularly vicious. You power the weapons. Have we ever seen that before? I don't know that we have. They have triple shields, so we're hacking. That's basically what determines that. And because this last seven seconds is the second rank, we will have time to charge up the weapons. We're giving them all she's got, Captain, right in there. Breached with a fire, and they're just trying to run away to get to the med bay. They probably will. Oh uh, yeah, I was almost certain they were going to get out of there. But, uh... They were kind of in problems any otherwise. I'm gonna shoot the med bay! Yeah, take that. There's no reason for me to do that, but... We're sticking it to the man. They're trapped in there with no oxygen. Aw, oh, the oxygen came back. Oh well. Ooh, could we get a crew kill on this? Yeah, we can. Run into the fires! Luan T, you learn nothing! There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Oh no! It missed. Yay, extra scrap. Could I make that many jumps? We're gonna find out! <laughs> We're gonna get more supplies and stuff right when we get to the next sector anyway. At this point, you almost expect a fight with the Mantis. If this does turn into badness... Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation's gone haywire and we can't plot a course out of here. Well, then I'll definitely have to help you. As I escape... A combat drone! That's always nice. And we did. I thought, I thought we would, but I wasn't 100% on that. What? Despite the barren area, a trader has set up a shop at this beacon. He presents his offer. That is an amazing offer. Aren't we in Sector 7, though? Well, I don't know that we're going to need that many drone parts, so just in case for fuel purposes. I'm pretty sure we get a bunch right now anyway. Isn't it like 8 to 10 or something? 10. Okay, yeah, we, we don't actually need it, but... uh. Ooh, the repair things. One of the runs that I got, it was so... Mm, the kind of RNG that I don't get when we're doing it like this. 
one of the runs that I had, like, right next to here, like, the, all three repair stations were in a triangle like this, like, right next to the first start. I was like, are you kidding me? I just jumped across and got all of them immediately. I mean, I love that, but why doesn't that happen whenever I'm recording them? Ah, uh, from here to the repair, because we'll definitely have a fight here. As I think every space here is a fight. You scan the area, finding signatures for only a small trade vessel. However, as it approaches, you see the silhouette of a rebel scout. You run the scanners again and discover their registration is fake. You move into attack. Wow, that's a pretty burst lasery area over there. I'm gonna drain this. And with our stuff, now that especially since this is upgraded as well, we're going to upgrade our systems here, get more power. And then everything else is going into the drones, probably. Everything into the shields. Unfortunately, one of our heavy lasers missed. We will fire these others at the same time, though. I'm going to cloak just for the sake of dodging that and keeping our Zoltan shields up, because I don't want them boarding us. Surprise, surprise. They both missed, and they both hit. Dual lasers. What are you doing? Shoot! Finish Markle! And the fires, how they burn. See, I knew they'd sense that they're crazy. Just keep firing in there, their whole crew's in there. You, help! Together, you are like one person fighting. And now we're gonna kill them. We're gonna cloak that. You know... Uh, how about you come over here, and then you come over here, and then you come in here. And then you come in here. Dang it, they teleported back. I should have moved the Mantis over immediately. That was dumb of me. We don't get the extra stuff. Oh well. We didn't take any damage. 88. And into the repair station for more. 46 to the base to the repair which actually looks like they're coming here next so we'll make some other jumps around here no they're being taken I could still jump here and then jump back unfortunately we didn't get very many good jumps out there actually I think we only got one but we will max this out we'll max this out we'll get one point into this um, do we really need to point that? I don't know that we do. Maxed out our power, just in case. And then the rest. That gives us enough to use. I'll put I'll put the other defense drone on there instead of the boarding drone. And that's all of our power. If we get more, when we get more from this last jump, maybe we'll put it into weapons so that we don't lose that immediately. Or maybe some more points into drones. I don't know. Ah, uh, upgraded doors would also be nice. We got expensive things this time, so getting everything wasn't really a... Uh... Maybe I should have sold these. I got them after jumps, though, so I don't know. I'll move these over. If we need them, we have them. Four power, so I would have to take power out of something else. With our Zoltan shields up, maybe just stopping them? This would prevent the hacking. I'm sure two of these would prevent the hacking. Wait, they can't even hack with our Zoltan shields up. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe I'll take... I'll take If I take one layer of shields out, I can power both of these. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.